Okay, we're here on uh, learning Daf Kuf Chaf in Psachim, 120. Mar says that I'm a rabba matzah b'zman azeh del raisa. Mar der abana matzah. This uh, this uh, now we don't have the Quran Pesach is from the Torah. Mar is der abana. The Gemara later on brings a brisa. The Gemara says Tanya kavase der rabba. The brisa agrees with the rabba. Sheishes yom tocha matzos. Just like the seventh day of Pesach, it's Rishus whether you want to eat matzah or not, so six days of Pesach also. The Gemara says at the end, uh, so you so you might think, you might think also the first night of Pesach, it's Rishus whether you want to eat matzah or not. Talmud Lomar al Matzah Rum Yochlu. In the Ella Bizman Shvesim Midish Kayim, Bizman Shein Besim Midish Kayim Inoy. And Talmud Lomar Erev Tochel Matzos. Hakasav Kavalchol. But the Torah says the first night of Matzah of, of Pesach you have to eat Matzah. It's a Chova. It's not a Rishos. Now the question is over here. Um, we know the Vilna Gon says that uh, when it says in the Gemara that it's a Rishos to eat Matzah, uh, the whole Pesach besides the first night. Uh, where does the Vilna Gaon know that? He says it's a mitzvah. The Gemara just says it's a rishus. It's a rishus seemingly means that it's uh, your decision. It's not it's whether you want to or not. Who says it's a mitzvah? Where do you get that from? And second of all, what's the difference between the words rishus and chova? Uh, what are the meaning, uh, exact precise meanings of rishus and chova? Rishus means it's permissible or it's your decision. Chova means it's an obligation. Final question on Amud Beis of the Gemara. The Gemara said the Gemara is a discussion about between Rabbi ben Azaria and Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi ben Azaria says that the mitzvah of eating matzah on the first night is until, only until chatzos. He learns it out. It says Nemar kam leila zev nemar lahalan davar to be aritz mizraim leila zev mala halan al chatzos afkan al chatzos. Just like the killing of the firstborns until chatzos, uh, so too eating matzah on the first night of Pesach is only till Chatzos. So Rekiva says you have the whole night to eat it. So at the end of the Gemara, the Gemara says, mm-hmm. If you eat matzah uh, in this time, meaning after the base mix was destroyed, uh, after Chatzos, you're not Yote, you're Chiv. Now, why does the Gemara say, uh, why does Rava say, only if you eat matzah b'zman azet, According to Lazar ben Azariah, it should be even in the Zman based on Migdash, if you ate it after Chatzotz, you're not Yotzi, that you're Chiv. Because in the base of Migdash, it's, it's learned out of Amatzos Marom Yochlo. Here, it's learned out of Erev Tochlo Matzos, after the base of Migdash is destroyed. But why is it? If Lazar ben Azariah holds that the mitzvah is only until Chatzotz, it should be the same both when the base of Migdash uh, was, was uh, existed and also, Bizman Azel. So now, so why does the Gemara say only now uh, you're not Yotze according to Elizabeth and Azaria? I want to suggest that there's uh, there's three different types of Chiyuvim in the Torah. That, like Elizabeth and Azaria says, he says in time of the Migdash, he says it says Ad Chatzos, so only until Chatzos. There, when the basement is existed, it's not a Chova or a Shus, it's something else. It's a third type of thing. Which basically is you are obligated to do it. Al Matsumram Yochlu, you must do that. If you do not do that, there is no chuva for that. There's no way of fixing that. That is an absolute khiyuv. Bizman hazeh, uh, it's different. Because the Gemara learns out, the Gemara says that just like the seventh day is Rishus, so too the first six days besides uh, the first night is called a Rishus. A Rishus is basically that the translation is in your domain that it's basically it's up to you it's your decision it doesn't mean that you have to eat matzahs i want to suggest it means that you could eat matzahs you have to decide when the right time to eat matzahs is and that's really what the the vilna Gon means by it's a mitzvah it doesn't mean it's a mitzvah but eat as much matzah as you can and just stand every single minute eating matzah it means it's in your decision you have to decide when's the appropriate time to eat matzah you should be eating matzah, it's Pesach. But when is the appropriate time? Is it the appropriate time when you're sitting at a meal when no one's eating matzah and you're going to be the weird one to eat matzah? Or if there's no more matzah left and you're going to take someone else's matzah uh, when 
uh, it belongs to somebody else and they really wanted to eat it and you're going to force you're going to force them not to be able to eat their own matzah uh, what's the appropriate time to eat matzah and that's a rishos and really that's a mitzvah that's the greatest mitzvah we have in the Torah the greatest mitzvah we have in the Torah is the ability to make decisions and we have to make the right decisions and that's really where we're tested in life a chova you have to do it but it's a clear decision Hashem tells you what to do so you know you have to do it so it's very easy. You don't have to make a decision. Rishus is much harder. Rishus, you have to make the right decision. So that's what the Vilna Gon means, that it's a mitzvah, the, uh, the rest of Pesach. The, the first night of Pesach, in the Zman Beis HaMikdash, it was an absolute chova, where you had to do it. If you didn't do it, there's no turning back. When the Gemara says, I'm on Beis over here, that according to Elizabeth of Zarya, you have until Chatzos, so Yatsa Yidei Chova, so it uses the word chova again, tell you that you're right. In this time... After the basement, this would, doesn't exist anymore. So therefore, you have to eat matzah. You're supposed to eat matzah the first night. If you didn't eat matzah the first night, uh, according to the Lezim and the Katsos, it becomes a rishos. It becomes, you have the ability now to do tshuva in the way that you think uh, will be a good tshuva, will be showing that you regret for what you did. So it comes out, there's three different chivim. In time with the basement, you had uh, until Chatzos the coin to Elizabeth Azar. If you didn't do that, it's an absolute chova. You can't do chuva for that. Then there's a type of chova where you're supposed to do it one way. If you didn't do it, it's now a rishus. It becomes a rishus that you have to decide what's the proper way to do chuva. And then there's something which is initially called a rishus, which is matzah, uh, the rest of Pesach, where you have the ability to make a decision whether you should be eating it or not. And that is the greatest mitzvah there possibly is, the decision-making that we have, the ability to make decisions, to make the right decisions, and that's why it's called Rishos.